One of the most powerful ways you can make sales and print on demand is to use niche research. You want to sell things that people are actually looking for. Now I'm on a site here called Everbee and I'm using the free plan. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through how Everbee works because it can be a bit intimidating, right? There's menus along the left-hand side. There's all this data in the middle. What does it all mean? I'm gonna do my best to break it down for you in this video and I've got some really cool features inside of Everbee. You can see here down at the bottom left, I'm on a hobby plan. And when I click on this upgrade plan option, you'll see that I'm on $0 a month. And it gives me limited product analytics without premium metrics. You can also do a growth plan for $20 US a month. And it gives you some extra features on here. In this video though, I'm gonna be highlighting the hobby plan. I'm gonna to go to my dashboard here on the left-hand side. And we're going to see the main dashboard here. It shows you if you've got a site like an Etsy shop, you can link it to Everbee directly so that you can see metrics inside of your store. But you can also look up other people's shops as well. So over on the left-hand side, there's research tools. I'm gonna to click on research tools and I'm gonna to go to product analytics. One of the most powerful tools inside of Everbee is the product analytics tool. You'll see here on the left-hand side, I've got photos, product name, the shop name itself, the price of the product, and you can change the width of any of these columns. Just move your mouse in between the two columns and you'll see the mouse will change from an arrow into a little vertical line and you can move this and make it fatter or skinnier. You can also sort the column. So for example, here product name, if I click on this down arrow, it's going to sort it by ascending or descending order. Now it may take a little bit of time because I'm looking at over 59 million results on Etsy right now. So what you can do is you can limit this search as well. You can type into the top here, I'm gonna search products. I'm gonna type in horror, for example, because some people like goth or horror. We can see now down at the bottom, it's showing 20 of almost 280,000 results. And now I can go here to the right-hand side and I can click on favorites descending. And we can see now something that's been favorited over 45,000 times. I'm going to click on the product name and we'll see now it comes up on the right hand side. This is an albino fruit bat pomegranate dark Acadia glycy print. I can view this right directly on Etsy as well. I'm going to click right here to view it on Etsy and it will pop open. It's in 20 plus baskets. We can see down here below, we've got reviews for the item and we've got almost 3000 reviews for the shop itself. So if you'd like to see really high selling items on Etsy quickly, Everbee's a really nice way to do it. One way is just to simply sort by favorites and then just start clicking on things that have been favorited the most. Make sure to scroll over to the right hand side as well. There's more information over on the right, the shop age, the category, the total shop sales. If you'd like to see a really popular shop, for example, I'm gonna to go to total shop sales. Now it does max out at over 3 million shop sales, but I can click on something here, for example, minimalistic birthstone earrings. When I click on that, you'll see here we've got the listing age, we've got the views, the favorites, all the information's here. And then we can of course click on Etsy to see it as well. So here we can see this is in 20 plus baskets and we can scroll down and we can see reviews for the item 152, reviews for the shop over 600,000. And what you can do on Etsy to see a really popular store is find the seller information, which is usually down on the bottom right hand side, meet your seller, Kate Kim is the owner. And when I click on Caitlin Minimalist, you'll see the actual shop now comes up. We've got over 3 million sales and you can see all the items that they have listed. Everbee also has a really cool shop analyzer tool. What I'm gonna do here at the top, I'm gonna search shop. So I'm gonna paste the name of a shop on Etsy. I'm gonna select it and then I'll select search shop. And we can see now all of the listings are coming up. There's 118 listings that it's captured, the product name, the price, the listing age, the number of favorites. And if I want, I can export this too. Over on the right hand side, there's an export button. And when I click on it, you'll see that the export now goes right to whatever email address you have set up and you'll get a spreadsheet that you can then take a look at and sort and filter as you need to. So what you can do with this is you can look through, find a shop that you like, and then pull metrics out so that you can see if you can compete or if you can in any way have similar success to what this seller is doing. Here's a Ouija themed charcuterie board. That's pretty cool. They've laser printed on here using like a wood burning device. And this is what Etsy's all about is making unique gifts in niches that people are actually looking at. 
Everbee also has a keyword research tool, and this thing's pretty cool. Over on the left-hand side, I've clicked keyword research. So I've typed in horror gift box, and it's given me back a search volume of 265. That's monthly search volume. And then at competition score, and that's about 2,300 listings currently sitting on Etsy, gives me a keyword score of 110. A high keyword score is good, and a low keyword score is bad. It also gives me some related keywords down below. Now using the free plan, you can't sort these, and it only gives you 10 or so related keywords down here at the bottom. And there's many more related keywords, but you can't see them. So the free plan does give you limited visibility here, and you can continue to search through here. You could type in another type of gift box, for example. How about a science gift box? And it'll give you back a completely different search volume and a diff different keyword score. Everbee also has an Etsy calculator, which is really nice. If I type in my sales price here of $100, and then my shipping price of $15, if I put in my cost of my item is $25 and my shipping cost is $15, I can then calculate how much my actual margin down here is at the bottom. My, to my net profit margin, my net profit, gives me my total costs. The transactional fee, it's about 5%, and then you get your payment processing fee of a little over 3%. So it gives you the total fees. This is a very handy and free tool. If you're terrified that you're gonna get burned on the margins, this is a great tool to use as well. I wanted to give you a couple tips and tricks here about the menu. You'll see the menu here on the left-hand side is minimized. There's a little arrow button that's pointing to the right, right here, and I can click on it, and that'll punch the menu out so you can see all of the different options. So if you'd like to make the screen screen larger, you don't need to see the menu all the time, you can simply minimize it, makes it tiny icons, you can maximize it, that makes larger icons. There's also an option menu right here where it says menu on the left hand side, that'll get you to your dashboard and your research tools, on the right hand side are options, and that'll give you some other more advanced features. And I want to show you one last thing. There's an Everbee email option. When I click on it, it's going to open up a screen that looks like this. If you have an Etsy shop and you'd like to keep track of your customers' emails, there's an Everbee email option. You simply connect your Etsy shop, and then when somebody buys something from you and you make a sale, this Everbee email program will keep track of your emails. And what you can do with that then is send out emails, coupons, thank you emails, reminders to customers. You'd have a customer mailing list and that can become very valuable over time as your shop grows. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Everbee. I highly recommend that you check out the free plan at least. And if you're interested in the growth plan, which does have more features, you can click on the upgrade and you can upgrade your plan to the growth plan. I'll put a link to that in the video description. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you click on it and you do wind up purchasing the growth plan, I would receive a small commission. I will use Everbee a lot. I think niche research is really important to making sales in the print-on-demand world. Thanks a lot for watching. I'd love to hear your feedback or if you've got a question about Everbee, do let me know. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand and digital download journey.